The Red Hat Deployment Manager analyzes raw discovery data from a variety of sources to determine Red Hat Enterprise Linux subscription requirements, showing detailed information such as subscription requirements over time, their status per machine, licensable add-ons, virtualization, and more. The Red Hat licensing model is based on open-source licenses. That being said, it is important to understand that the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system also has a subscription model. This subscription provides its subscribers with access to updates, patches, support services, and more. Each server may require one or multiple subscription SKUs, depending on the number of sockets the physical host has, along with the number of guests. There are a few discovery methods for Red Hat Enterprise Linux analysis. Licenseware offers a lightweight bash script available for use as part of Licenseware's script collection. In this demo, we will analyze the raw output from Licenseware's collection script. To begin, we will first create a new project. Projects can be used in a variety of ways. Most customers segregate their data based on internal vendor projects, or in the case of partners, to manage their own customer projects and collaborate. Once the project is created, we can begin processing the data. Heading to the Red Hat Deployment Manager app, you will find the currently supported data sets at the time of recording this video. If you have a different data source you wish to use, a new uploader can be built within one to two weeks. First, we will process the script data by selecting the uploader and simply dragging and dropping the files onto the page. The Red Hat Deployment Manager app validates the file name and type to make sure the data is as expected. If an error occurs at this point, it is typically due to the file name not following the expected conventions. You can find all of this information at the Knowledge Center, help.licenseware.io. Once validated, click Process to process the files. Now, heading to the Reports tab, you can see the Red Hat Deployment Overview report has processed. Upon opening the report, at a glance we can see some key information, covering machine types, whether they are physical or virtual, subscription status distribution, showing out of the subscriptions identified which are active, expired, or partially subscribed, along with a pie chart detailing your OS version distribution for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Next, we show the top 10 machines requiring backdated subscriptions, along with a graphical representation of the number of subscriptions required per OS at any given point in time. As mentioned before, it is important to be aware that as long as there is an active subscription of RHEL on a device, all devices running RHEL require an active subscription. When RHEL is deployed on a device and a subscription is not added within the given grace period, backdating the device's subscription is required to be in line with the licensing terms. The Red Hat virtualization table displays the hardware topology from cluster to virtual level showing device relationships along with the relevant socket counts requiring subscriptions. Additionally, we flag any detected add-ons which require licensing. Next, we have the RHEL Devices Overview table showing more detail into the device's operating system and their subscription. We show how many subscriptions are required for said device, and if a subscription is present, its status. Those statuses are current where the applied subscription is sufficient for the requirements. Partially subscribed, where additional subscriptions are required, however, there are some present. Expired, where a previous subscription was active but has since expired. Not subscribed, no subscription has been applied. And lastly, unknown, where additional information is required for determination. Alongside this, we show a subscription timestamp, showing the date in which the latest subscription was applied to the device. This is then used in combination with the OS install date in the next table to determine backdating. The last table is the RHEL Devices Deployment table, showing an amalgamation of all the previous data including subscription requirements, if backdating is required, licensable components, OS install date, subscription status, timestamp and more, providing transparency into the RHEL subscription requirements for the uploaded data set. For more information on the Red Hat Deployment Manager app, or if you wish to use it, reach out to your dedicated licenseware representative or via our online communication channels. Thank you.